For the past few days, internet has been buzzing about the fight, epic fight, between the outgoing governor of Anambra State, Willie Obiano's wife, and the Bianca Ojuku, the widow of Dim Ojuku, the Biafran warlord. And based on that, Oka traditional leader has given Obiano's wife seven days to apologize. According to him, she has desecrated Oka land by attacking Ojuku's wife. Therefore, must appease the gods. Hi guys, you are watching M Chiki series. If you are a subscriber, thank you for your support. I quite appreciate that. It's good to have you around again. And if you are new to this channel, thank you for clicking on this video. Make yourself comfortable as we get right into this video. So it is no longer news. It is everywhere that the outgoing governor of Anambra State, Willie Obiano's wife, Ebele Obiano, attacked Bianca Ojuku, Dim Ojuku's widow, the Biafran warlord. According to the story, that they were all at the event of inauguration of Professor Charles Toludo, who is the incoming governor for Anambra state he won the elections and the drama unfolded willie obiano's wife was not in the scene nobody knew where she was then one hour after the ceremony had started she appeared from nowhere and after a while she advanced to bianca ojuku and was trying to ask her what she was doing there what she came to do at the event rubbing her shoulder and before you knew it ebele obiano was trying to remove her scarf which made her to give her dirty slaps and it didn't stop them ebele held her wig wanted to come back to fight with her before eventually some people rallied round to separate them. Look at him saying off camera, if you don't want the cameras to be on, then the ladies should behave themselves. This is just a show of shame. The journalists are there to capture the moment. Who have been reacting to this story, they said that was not the first time Ebele Obiano was in fight with another person, that she was once slapped the deputy governor's wife in the public, Mrs. Okeke. However, the woman debunked the story, saying that it was rumor from people that are trying to cause truth between her and Obiano's wife. There was another story about her again, trying to beat up Senator Uche Kunife, that time she was an honorable member in the house representing an Ochadunu Kofi and Njikoka federal constituencies of Anambra state. And both of them were on entourage of First Lady, then Dr. Patience Jonathan, former president of Nigerian's wife, Dr. Bele Jonathan, to Poland. Before you knew it, they started having altercation. So at the end of the day, the Oka traditional ruler, Ezozo of Oka, has said that Ebelo Biano desecrated Oka land and she must appease the gods. So this is coming from the traditional leader of Oka, Anambra State, Enzo Zotre of Oka, Obi Austin Ndiwe, on Friday condemned the unholy actions of the former Anambra State First Lady, Mrs. Ebele Obiano, for attacking the wife of former Biafran leader, Dim Chukwemeka Odumewo Juku Bianca, describing it as sacrilegious. Enzo said that the wife of the former governor desecrated Oka land by fighting the widow of the late Ikemba Odumewo Juku, stressing that she must appease the gods of the land, that he said that she must publicly apologize to the entire Igbo people or face serious consequences. She should tender an unreserved apology to the new governor of Anambra State, Professor Charles Soludo, for her disgraceful conduct during his inauguration and the same should go for the chief judge of the state who was conducting the swearing-in when the unfortunate incident happened. So he said that he has spoken to Bianco Juku who told him that what angered her was that Mrs. Obiano walked up to her and called her unprintable names including querying her presence at the swearing in ceremony and he said that the study of this scenario showed that Mrs. Obiano's action was deliberate and she came very much prepared to disrupt the swearing in ceremony. As he also added that Mrs. Obiano's action was not only against Mrs. Ojuku but against late Ojuku who is the founder of All Progressive Grand Alliance APGA who his widow came to represent. It must also be stated that Bianca was not at the ceremony as Bianca but as direct representative of the late father and leader Chief Odme Ojuku her late husband who pioneered Abga. So Ebele's action of casting aspersions on her is an affront on the entire Igbo people. It was indeed an Odume Wojuku, not a Biafra as a person. This is an insult on Igbo and it must not go unpunished. So everybody has been reacting to this. And it is on record that he, the traditional leader, took Obiano and his wife, Ebere, to Bianca, where they knelt down while seeking the party governorship ticket. Bianca endorsed Obiano 
and called on all APGA members, including then Governor Pitobi, to support him. Ebele has only seven days to apologize as demanded and directed or face serious consequences. The whole fight saga was very childish because Ebele Obiano, the ex-governor's wife, was seated in her own place. Bianca has already seated in the arena in her own canopy, minding her business, before the ex-governor's wife, Mrs. Ebele Obiano, walked second, second to her and started querying her what she was doing at the occasion. Although there was a time they had issue, Bianca swatched her hand off Apga because they couldn't support her for the senatorial ticket. When she came out, Mrs. Ebele Obiano was wrong to have left her seat to go to Bianca's area where she was sitting and was talking her and again Bianca would have called on security operatives to manage the situation to take her out but she decided to give her a dirty slap according to her her reason though I'm not supporting violence but before you walk up to anybody in a public event you also think about the consequences your action might bring in an opposite consequence because for any action there is an equal and opposite reaction so before you get up from your seat to go and confront anybody you also think about the negative the consequences she would have done it in a more civilized way by calling on security people to take her out the reason she gave for slapping her back is that the former first lady mrs Obiano, was late to the inaugural ceremony and when she came she walked up to her taunting her and she said she arrived one and a half hours later while the ceremony was already on and then she walked towards her she thought she was coming to greet her instead she got to where she was seated she verbally attacked her with her voice taunting her and asking her what she was there to do using unprintable vile language she asked if she had come to celebrate the last day in the office but she ignored her completely then she kept aggressively putting her hand on her shoulders and shouting while she ignored her verbal onslaught as advised by those sitting around her she requested twice that she refrain from touching her with her hands she proceeded to do so yet again and went for her to grab her head tie which she attempted unsuccessfully which she couldn't remove luckily for her she could not remove her gele and the act was considered as a sacrilege to a title matriarch such as herself in Igbo culture it was at this point that she stood up to defend herself and she gave her a dirty slap to stop her from attacking her as she made towards her she then pulled her wig obian also have pulled onto her wig with two hands and tried to take the wig away from her the former abga chairman ume told her to leave her and told abga members that had gathered there at the spot to lead her away which they did and took her to the seat next to her husband chief willy obiano who sat through the entire episode completely speechless according to bianca that what really struck her through the whole episode was the fact that Ebel obiano was clearly intoxicated she was stunned by the stench of whiskey in her breath at such an early hour of the day how could a first lady be so drunk and proceeded to turn up in that state at an inaugural ceremony that began at 9 a.m it was unfortunate that she threw all caution to the wind and imposed this kind of melodrama to a state ceremony it was quite unfortunate that she was acting the way she acted and that was highly embarrassing to the governor who left the venue almost immediately taking her along with him luckily this did not interrupt the proceedings she stayed back to witness the ceremony to the end after which she walked away with her integrity intact this is really sad and shocking that an ex-governor's wife will expose herself in that manner you walk up to somebody started altercation in the middle of inaugural ceremony was on that means she just wanted to steal the show she just wanted to embarrass Bianca Ojuku and things turn around the way it was well it has happened let me know what you guys think about this do you think that there's a better way to solve this problem instead of her slapping her in that event or do you think what she did was right anyway let me know in the comment section I'm gonna sign off here stay healthy and safe remember to share this video with family and friends if you love it and subscribe to this channel if you've not done already and i'm gonna catch you guys in my next video bye and remain blessed <laughs>